वेलकम टू दस बैंक कॉर्पोरेट मास्टर्स ब्रिंगिंग यू एटी पार्टिसिपेंट्स ईच ऑफ हू आर सी ओ एज एन ओपिनियन लीडर्स ऑल ऑफ हू आर गोन ए जॉइन इन टू नेटवर्क एंड प्ले कम्पीट एंड कोलेबोरेट एट सम लेवल टू ट्राई एंड टेक अ हेड द बिग स्टोरी ऑफ गॉल्फ इन बिजनेस हाउ विल दे नेटवर्क हाउ विल दे मैनेज टू कीप द बिजनेस ऑन द कोर्स दैट इज द की क्वेश्चन बिकॉज कॉम्पिटिशन विल एंश्योर दैट वन ऑफ दीज टीम्स विल मैनेज टू गो राइट ऑन टॉप एट द यास लिंक्स इन अबू धाबी वेल प्लेंटी ऑफ एक्शन सिंस इज बिन एन ऑल इंडिया ट्रिप The trip has included cities like Bangalore, Kolkata, Delhi and Mumbai and all these legs have produced winners. Each of these winners then get to compete at a global level with a large number of countries in fact 20 of them representing their own individual teams to come and compete. The winner gets an all paid trip to Abu Dhabi for the Yas Links from each of these destinations to culminate into what will be a global tournament. The Yas Bank Open Masters has begun. Tolly Gunj Club in Kolkata hosted the third leg of the Yes Bank Corporate Masters 2011 India Edition. The event saw a turnout of 120 corporate leaders, of which Ashok Agarwal, Director of MB Control and System, and Nirmal Khanna, Vice President at KCT and Brothers, won the honor of representing India at the Corporate Masters World Finals. Well, Kolkata was fun, wasn't it? Let's take you then to Mumbai for the highlights of the best action that we saw in the maximum city. golf as a sport as you know is growing quite rapidly it fits in very well with our corporate clients uh, it creates a lot of relationship uh, goodwill and bonding so in a way our association with golf is really to cement and develop mutually uh, beneficial relationships Expectations to have fun uh, and uh, enjoy the golf. Well, it looks like a great day in the morning. Nice sunny, breezy. You know, looking for a great game. Looking for meeting some good friends and having a great time. Lovely to have great ambience today and uh, uh, beautiful weather, and to have. just good time to well organized event and we look forward to having a good evening, good day it's like to have some fun on the course um, golf's all all about that actually it's about just leaving your troubles behind in the office and just coming out on the course i am expecting to have fun lots of golf nice weather and enjoy the day I am expecting to play a good game, uh, have a good competitive spirit and meet lot of new people and learn lot of things. Golf is always a learning as is the corporate life. Winning is never important. Uh, I think it's always the uh, day of golf which is very enthralling to be back again and again. Sixty four participants aboard their carts. Let's take you then for the game to begin. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Yes Bank Corporate Masters, the Mumbai edition, and we are very pleased this year to bring it back to Ambi Valley for a second year running. I'd like to request Mr. Parul Patel, Director at Yes Bank, to welcome you. Welcome, golfers from Mumbai and Pune. All I can say is that enjoy, have fun, and being the fastest growing bank, you need to again, you know, get involved with it. All the best. Have good golfing. Have fun. So just a quick note. Today's format is better ball, stable foot of 75% handicap. So that essentially means you all will not be playing alternate ball. You all will be playing better ball, which means both of you all will complete every hole, and then the better score would be counted. And as you all know, the winning team goes on to play the World Finals in Abu Dhabi. So without much ado, 
Good luck, play well and enjoy the windy day. Well, it all looks nice and bright. The course's fairways are looking pretty inviting, but the fact is this is a tough course. We're going to try and do a quick check on how hard will it get for you on the course. Lots of professional events have happened here, the PGTI, the Asian Tour, and all the professionals have found that this is a challenging course. It's a thinking course, the greens are heavily contoured. As a result, the guys who can putt well, they always score well here. It's going to be a tough day. Uh, it's a par 72, fairly hard, dry course today as it's playing. Ambi Valley is a Asian Tour venue, as you all know. So the winners of the Yes Bank Corporate Challenge for Mumbai would have to, I would believe, be you know fairly good golfers who are in a position to tackle these windy conditions. Ambi Valley is a challenging course. It's not a simple course. It's there's a lot of ups and ups and downs. There's a lot of traps. Yeah, so it's it's a good course. It's a very very good course. I have been playing here for the last 10 years and I really enjoy it. The only problem is to get, get to here from uh, Bombay. It's a difficult course because it's got many hazards and you got to really play straight, greens are pretty fast. So you got to really have a control game to do well here. Let's take you on the course and chat up with some participants about what they feel the Yes Bank Corporate Masters brings to the table for them and their business. Importance is that you get to meet other uh, corporate people, corporate heads and exchange views and also have fun at the same time. Yes Bank Corporate Masters is a very unique property. This year we've gone uh, sort of to all the four uh, metros. We started with Bangalore, moved on to uh, Delhi, Calcutta and now the fourth uh, you know, round of this was in MB Valley. Uh, it's a very well received uh, property of the bank. And certainly, you know, it's a great way to connect with our stakeholders, with our clients. This I thought was an excellent format and it's a super tournament to play. One is that it attracts the who's who. Then it is very professionally organized and managed. Well, I think Yes Bank's uh, typically very pleased with the uh, four events that they've had this year. Uh, it's clearly shown to the uh, you know, golf industry that uh, corporate events in India can be a very exclusive and premium affair uh, where it's about value and uh, focus with each guest that's typically been invited. Corporate Masters is a very innovative event brought to India by a very innovative bank and I think both are very well suited to each other and I think it's going to grow by leaps and bounds because uh, this is the first year and we've had what 70 odd participants who drove all the way from Bombay to play at Ambi Valley which is quite a good turnout. Um, I think it should grow by leaps and bounds in the next few years. There are very few competitions which are held like this so it has been a great success which are, as far as I understand and uh, this event has uh, 
come out as a you know net king thing for uh, the sponsors as well as for the participants it's a great great show i would think It's time for us to take a very short break on the Yes Bank Corporate Masters. Uh, when we come back, there's plenty of action and all city tour. More ideas about who is winning and why to head to Yas Links for the finals. Welcome back to the Yes Bank Corporate Masters. It's been quite a game, and everyone's gearing up for what will be the big prize. The qualification rounds that take them all the way to the final. Let's get to the course and find out how play is going. Game doing good. Uh, partner and me are doing reasonably well so far. We only played I think about eight holes, so. Ten more holes to go. Let's see how it goes. So far, so good. I think it's a great location so the game definitely is great fun it's more fun when you play with different people at all times and there's also corporate tournaments so there's so much of interaction and networking so it's a lot of fun when you play myself too it's a difficult course makes it more interesting but we have a nice four ball so we have a good round the course is tough but i think good partners so that's how i'm enjoying myself golf is one game that can get you out of the woods and put you straight on the fairway it's a bit that allows you to do real business how are all our participants managing to network That's what we're going to find out next. You can understand the nature of a human being um, a lot more when you play golf with a person. Golf is a very very it's a game that opens people up. I played with uh, three people, one of who I knew before. The other two I didn't know at all. They came from completely diverse backgrounds. and uh, i think we walked away promising to play with each other within the next month so you know you make new friends other sporting activities you are playing on your own and not so much of uh, uh, interaction is there but this event is such that uh, you know it gives a lot of chance for in, uh, networking that is probably the reason why you know golf is getting more and more popular amongst the corporate uh, executives Tatas and Ambani's they don't play golf, but they still uh, are in big business. I mean, uh, it depends. The middle managers need to be more smart, internationally smart, and they need to definitely play golf so that they are able to capture the focus of their business associates on a more inform informal platform and a most enjoyable platform. You know, this is a great game uh, to really. get quality time with the people you are playing with um, and and certainly gets you the time mind and attention which typically in a meeting you will be more formal Well golf means a lot to many people for some it's certainly a game about winning which is why we're taking you down to the course
going well. I'm just two two holes to go, and uh, I think I've had about six or seven pars and a couple of birdies, and uh, many double bogeys. But the joy of playing on Gambi is is unparalleled. We started out with a lot of wind. Thank God the winds died down some, so we can actually hit a ball straight now. And uh, I think between the four of us, we must have lost about 24 balls. That's the game, but it's been fun. It's a beautiful course. Um, I had a couple of missed uh, pars, but I think the company makes up for it. I'm playing okay today, <laughs> but my Rahul, my friend, is playing very good. Mumbai is never easy on the weather, and that's why while there'll be a bit of breeze, it'll keep your ball rolling more than you'd wish. Let's take you to the thick of the course and find out what people think about golf in India as it picks up momentum and steam. Well, as far as the future goes, if they, uh, uh, people like Yes Bank and other uh, corporate people continue with this kind of um, games, it would be good. I mean, it will be uh, good for us to get together and exchange views. To me, golf is never going to be as big as cricket. But I think uh, the way it's progressing, or the way it's progressed in the last few years, I think it has a fantastic future. The kids in India especially are doing very, very well, especially in the metros. It's unfortunate that, that the smaller cities haven't yet taken to it. It's still a very expensive game and I think the government needs to do a lot uh, in terms of subsidies and stuff, in terms of duty drawbacks and things, whatever, you know, to help more people adapt to the game. Certainly the next decade or so would see a lot more golfing interest because a lot of younger generation taking to the game. I guess, uh, you know, what we really need to work at is uh, making the game more accessible to a larger population. But overall, I, I do believe, uh, you know, the future of golf in India is certainly very bright and uh, very optimistic about it. As far as golf, other than India is concerned, it's proliferated. Golf development has even taken place in China. And China today has over 500 to 600 golf courses. And much, much more is coming up. So they are way ahead of us. The only issue here is that currently the government needs to be educated on golf. They need to be told about the viability of golf in this country. Golf as a business, golf as a, as a tourism tool, golf as driving the real estate project. We're slipping into a short break. You're watching the Yes Bank Corporate Masters. This is ET Now. I'm Shelly Chopra. Stay right there. When it's golf, it's here on ET Now. Welcome back here with the Yes Bank Corporate Masters and I'm taking you straight to get you a sense of where play is headed, how are people managing to compete, which team is leading. Let's get a quick update. The ups and downs like life, not bad. Only two holes left fortunately so I think it should get over pretty soon. So far so good and yes, we are going to make it. It's terrible. 
the game is going to end. <laughs> I hit the pin here. Yeah. I hit the pin actually. Maybe a hole in one. I don't know. He's going to win. I'm having a fun time. I've lost five balls, but he's going to win. If you're giving the players a bit of a chance to get their game on track, let me tell you what else is happening on the show, including some off the fairway activity with a putting competition. Let's get the action from there. Trying it for the first time was very interesting. At the same time, it's a learning experience because when you're trying something for the first time, there are a lot of things to, you know, get to the basics. And uh, it's the basics which, uh, you know, maybe I was missing, so it took me some time. You know, we always uh, see golf on television and we think it's much more easier, but here on the small putting green, uh, it's very difficult to get the ball in the hole. I was playing golf uh, very very early on but this has sort of rekindled the sort of love for golf so maybe I'll come back and uh, you know play some more. Onwards then it's time and it's almost the final countdown taking you to the 18th hole for seeing who's managing to touch up but for dough as they say. Let's get a quick update where Yes Bank's corporate masters will be headed and with who all. My game is very good, uh, playing my normal game that is, uh, one over, which is good. Oh my, I think this is a tough hole and you know, it has got a huge valley there. Clearing that valley is a big deal. And then there is a sheer drop on that side and there is a road on this side. Hitting it straight and being close to the center, I think is a good deal. So I'm quite happy. Okay, we've come to the end of this. So we're taking you straight to the prize distribution ceremony to bring you all the action for those who will be headed to Abu Dhabi. So with this event, we conclude the Yes Bank Corporate Masters Series 2011. Before I get on to the prize ceremony, may I call Mr. Bharat Patel, Director of Yes Bank, to give away the runners-up prize. Well, there were actually two pairs that tied. And on count back, this pair unfortunately finished runners-up. Akshay Kailachan and Anil Siolekar, 41 points. They had 90 points on the back nine. Well played, gentlemen. Well and we now move to the winning pair that flies to Abu Dhabi to represent Yes Bank at the World Finals. Mr. Navneet Singh and Rishi Bali, 41 points. takeaway for me is never give up you know just keep trying one day you'll get something and that's the key takeaway because I haven't won an event like this for a long long time this is the first time I have won any event like this so it's a great feeling and let's hope I can keep playing well you can say With that, we come to the close of this particular tournament action as everyone's headed to Abu Dhabi for the finals. And what's most exciting is the fact that 
The winners are extremely, extremely positive about how their game went. That's the way golf is, isn't it? Making you energize about what lies ahead. With that, it's a wrap on the show. I'm Shelly Chopra, logging off.